Howdy, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Today, I'm gonna to do an unboxing and setup of the Tacticam reveal camera. So I already did a unboxing and setup of the Spy Point Micro LTE. This is a very similar price point and I'm trying to basically decide which camera I wanna go with going forward. And so I wanted to put both these up and test them out for a couple months and just see quality, battery life, etc. I kind of want to just do a good comparison and pick the camera that I want to use going forward. A couple things I noticed off the bat about this camera different than the Spy Point. This is much bigger of a camera. I'll do a comparison with my phone so you can kind of see what I did in my Spy Point video as well. Also, when I do the overall comparison, I'll show the two cameras next to each other so you can see that. And part of the reason I think that it's bigger than the Spy Point is it requires 12 AA batteries instead of eight. And also, I believe I read this requires a SD card instead of a micro SD card, which I kind of like working with SD cards a little bit better because they're bigger and easier to carry around. Although all my trail cameras and my video equipment take the micro SD, so I'm kind of already committed to, to those as well. So a little bit about this camera. This comes in AT&T or Verizon, so I got the Verizon here to match the spy point I got. This says it takes 24, 12, and 8 megapixel pictures. One thing that I read when I did a lot of research on trail cameras is you can't really just trust that the megapixel rating is accurate. Because what a lot of these trail camera manufacturers do is they say they can get 24 megapixels and really it's 12 or 18 or something like that and they digitally enhance it to make it 24 megapixels so to be a little wary about that um, the best way to really compare it is kind of do a side-by-side -side comparison of the pictures that you pull from the cameras so one thing that's cool about this is it does have an lcd screen on it i don't know if you really need it when you're using a cell camera so I'm kind of interested to see how I like that when setting this up. This also has a half second trigger speed. This claims it's a little bit less than that. So we'll see if I can notice the difference between this and the spy point. This camera says it has an illumination range of 96 plus feet. It also has animal detection range of 96 plus feet, which is similar to what the spy point is as well. Anyways, with that being said, let's go ahead and unbox this and get into the setup. So here's your antenna. This thing's much larger than what the spy point antenna was. You have your camera and then your strap. And then you have a booklet here as well. So just for comparison, you know, this is getting close to the size of my phone and you can kind of see how, how deep that is as well. So this is a much bigger setup than what the spy point was which I'm not sure I'm a big fan of, but you know, if the pictures end up being better and the battery life lasts more and it just ends up being an all around better camera, I can get over the size of it. So like the spy point, you're gonna need to go ahead and download the app. It's called Tacticam Reveal. You're also gonna need to go ahead and create your account to get this set up. So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and install the batteries. So I've got my 12 AA batteries installed. For the antenna, we're going to take off this yellow cover and screw this guy in. Next, we'll take our SD card and it goes in the side here. And we will switch the power button on as you can see the screens coming on so it's searching for signal so while this is searching I'm gonna go ahead and open up the app so it looks like under camera we will add the plus button and it kind of seems like they're making you go ahead and purchase a data plan here so they have the monthly pro for 13 bucks a month or 10 bucks a month if you do the year and then eight and five for the starter. I'll probably start with the starter just to see how much I want to use this camera. 
It is a little disappointing. SpyPoint gives you a free month of Unlimited to use and test out your their cameras. Um, it does not look like they have that option here. So we'll just click the starter for one month. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a payment method and shut this off here. So we're in the setup mode here. You have off setup on. I'm gonna hit menu, go over to 4G, and then down to QR code and scan this QR code. With your phone, you can scan that code. And then it asks that you name the camera. I'm just gonna call it Tacticam. So I'll just say Houston and register that. So now it says click menu three times and it'll come back to here and should start to activate the camera. It says it may take three to five minutes. Okay, so it says activation complete. So it looks like you can go into the camera here. You can look at your photo gallery, you can go to your account. It shows I have one camera on a monthly plan one thing I do like about this though is it does seem like the more cameras you add, they do give you a discount on your plans. So that is a benefit. So you can go in here and update your profile, add a password, have your notifications, whether you want push notifications, email, text messages, what you want the notifications for, and then just kind of your general information here, your version, license agreement, terms and condition. And then they have a help menu and then back to the home page here. So really it doesn't look like you can change the settings or actually control much from the app itself. I'm trying to see. Yeah, I, I don't see a way you can actually change settings in here, which, oh, well maybe. Temperature menu support settings. Okay, sweet. So you can actually change the settings in here. You can change your image size. So we'll test out the 24 megapixel. It can take up to five pictures. I'm going to stick with, uh, we'll do three. Yeah, we'll do two since we're doing, we don't have unlimited photos. Night mode. Um, I'm going to do minimum blur. That seems to be an issue with night mode, so I'm kind of curious how well that works. So these are alkaline batteries. Um, flash power, we'll stick with high. Enable delay. So what this delay is, if you want it on, it's the time interval that you want between photos upon motion. I think we have our other one to 10 seconds, so I'm gonna just kinda do the same thing on this one. Work timer. This is if you want, basically, it only to work during certain hours of the day, so it's kind of like a schedule on Spy Point. So I didn't set that up. So the SD loop is kind of an interesting feature. It just deletes the next picture in your SD card if you have a ton of pictures on there. I'll keep it on for now. Um, I don't know that it's necessarily needed since we get to see all of the pictures on our phone as well. So then the next item is motion sensitivity. So we have it as low. I'm gonna put it on middle. That's what our spy point is on. So the send type is basically when, it wants, when do you want it to send you pictures? You can have it timely, which is it'll send you immediately you can do once every 12 hours, so twice a day, or once every 24 hours, so once a day. So not as many options as the spy point here, but I think this is enough. So I'm going to stick to the 12 hours. That's what we have on our spy point as well. And we'll go ahead and apply the settings. So we'll go ahead and go back to setup here and kind of go through some of this stuff. So you have your camera ID, camera mode, 
So it does look like it has picture and video. Uh, I don't believe it sends the video, but we'll make that picture and video. Flash power. 24 megapixel for the image size. Night mode is minimum blur. So we'll do the two pictures for the multi shot. The video size will do 1080p. And I'm good with a five second video. So I already know this is gonna kill the battery a little bit quicker than the spy point. But again, this has 12 batteries, so maybe uh, that'll help here. So then I click menu to go back and you can look at the sensors, PIR are your, your sensors here on the outside. So you can look at your sensitivity is set to high. I think we'll just put middle. Um, delay, I'm gonna keep that the same. I don't want a timer on. So we'll go menu, 4G. So we already did the QR code. So this max num per day here is the, how many pictures that this will transmit every day. So if you say you only have 250 pictures a month, so you may want to divide that out by how many days and you know that'll help keep you limited on how many number of pictures you get transmitted per day. I'm not gonna mess with that right now. We'll keep it on unlimited. And then again, here's the send type. Uh, we'll do once every 12 hours and we'll start it at eight o'clock in the morning and then it'll do eight o'clock at night as well um so then menu menu and then other language date time is set to auto battery type sd loop password a module firmware update reset about so similar stuff as to what's on the settings tab. So it looks like for the most part, working here is the same thing that you're gonna get on your app. Obviously you have a couple other options, kind of like your camera mode. You can get video, which I wasn't aware you can get video on this. So I'm kind of curious to see how well that works and how much I kill the battery. It does not look like it's gonna transmit the video via cell, but we'll kind of see how that goes. So when you're going to go and start using the camera out in the field, you'll go to setup. And you're going to wait till this searching will tell you that it's connected. So it looks like it's connected now. It says 4G and tells you your signal. So you can take a photo here. So I'll just click OK to take a picture. And now it's going to do the video that I had set it up on the five second video. Oh, maybe it just does it till I'm. It may just video till I stop it actually. So I'm going to just click stop. And so now it's sending the pictures. So it says send successful. So let's open up. I got a notification here on the Tacticam has a new photo. So it says it has a new photo. So it looks like it took the picture and it only took, I believe one picture and it doesn't send the video from what it looks like. So that's just kind of shows you that it works. And then once you know that it works, you will set this to on. The screen shuts off. And then your red dot here is going to blink five times. And then once it blinks five times, it's activated. So you know it's good to go. Now that we have this set up, a couple quick notes that I want to bring up. The first one is obviously the size of this is much bigger than what I was expecting. The second is it does take 12 AA batteries. So I am curious how the battery life is going to be. I do like that it takes videos. It clearly does not send the videos as we already looked at. Not too worried about that, but it's kind of nice to be able to get some video footage as well. The setup itself wasn't too bad. I mean, it was probably just as easy as the spy point camera. My biggest complaint would be you don't get a free month of data not even a free week of data to kind of test out the camera. So 
if you're going to buy this camera, make sure you don't activate it till you're pretty much getting ready to put it out in the woods. Otherwise, you're just wasting your money at that point by not getting the pictures. So all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and put this out in the woods tomorrow morning. I'll leave this out there until the battery pretty much dies. And once I get pictures from both my spy point and this camera, I'll go ahead and put together a video of the comparison of these two cameras, what I liked about each, what I didn't like about each. And I'll talk about what path I'm going to do moving forward as far as which camera I'm going to pick for all my future cell cams. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or comments or tips about this camera if you've used it before, please feel free to reach out to me. My email address is in the description below or you can leave a comment. I'm usually pretty good about responding to those. If you're interested in my comparison, go ahead and hit the subscribe and the bell notification so you can get a notification when I upload that video. As always, I appreciate it. Thanks.